coming up on the Real Housewives of New Jersey after show. Like seriously, I'm done. Like let's okay. get it. Like I don't need this. I work harder. You never have to work a day in your life. I know. How lucky is that? So he's like, babe, let's just get out of here. And I'm like, no problem, babe. He looked very annoyed, very frustrated. Let's go move into our 15,000 square foot house, all right? Oh, I love you. He swept me away like like the prince that he is. I looked at it like, you don't have to work if you don't want to. I just bought you a house. And that would be nice if that was true. It is a romantic thing to say, but he says it because he's a dick swinger and he doesn't mean it. <laughs> My first thought was, is this Teresa Swan song? But I don't think either of them would do that. I've been right about Siggy. I've been right about Danielle. I'll be right about Louie. Margaret's got balls. Listen, I want to be wrong. I want the best for her. Everything is pointing to something that's just not good at this point. He didn't want any of this. He didn't say, oh, I'm gonna, I want to fall in love with Teresa Giudice. It just happened. I was just doing everything I can to protect him. Go! Oh, 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 oh. oh Lou, don't do it, Lou. Oh, He's dying. Joe's dying. That affected me for about a week. That chicken contest and me going into it was probably one of my biggest regrets. And you know when it hurt the worst? Burnt the worst when you went to the bathroom and you peed it out. Oh, <laughs> that's such a stupid idea. Your Real Housewives of New Jersey after show starts right now. Teresa, things got pretty heated between you and Margaret on the last night in Nashville. You know what, Teresa? I have championed you from day one. You have broken my heart, and I am done. Thank you. Have a good night. Oh. Louie, he's like, you don't need to be working that hard for an apology, you know? She's making you work too hard for an apology, and I, honestly, like, you don't you don't need to dance for anybody. So he's like, babe, let's just get out of here. Let's go. I want to get out of here. I want to, like, get a jet and go home. It's just too much. It's All right, I know. Too All much. right, we're going to, I know. He's, he's like, not yet. Like, seriously, I'm done. Like, let's okay. get it. Like, I don't need this. I work harder. You never have to work a day know. in your life. I know. How lucky is that? Let's go move into our 15,000 square foot house, all right? I love you. And I'm like, no problem, babe. So, and then we left. He swept me away like, like the prince that he is, yes. He looked very annoyed, very frustrated, and he wanted to get out of there as quick as possible, and he was like, just looking at her, like, why do we have to answer to anybody or do this? We actually don't. And you know what, he's right. They don't have to. They could truly not do this if they don't want to. And my first thought was, is this Teresa Swan song? Like, is this what them walking away? And I can't say I'd blame them. I mean, there's been a lot of focus on the man that she loves. And if she wants to save him from any of that, walking away would make the most sense. But I don't think either of them would do that. He says, uh, you know, you don't need this. I bought you a 10,000 square foot house, so, you know, we don't need this show. Let's get on a plane and get out of here. You don't need this headache. Ba, 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 ba. I liked that he said to her, let's go. I looked at it like, I'm, I'm going to save you from this. This is what I say. I'm going to say, let's go. Let's get out of here. You don't have to do this anymore. You don't have to work if you don't want to. I just bought you a house. Um, let's go. And, but, and that would be nice if that was true. But that's not well, that's. That's like my dream. Not that I want to leave the show. I want somebody to say, let's get the hell out of here. You don't have to do this. I love my job. But like, to me, that was a very romantic thing to say. And, uh, it's and, a, I, it's a and I was like- It's a romantic thing to say. It is a romantic thing to say, but this is her career. This is her platform. So he says it because he's a dick swinger and he doesn't mean <laughs> it because if he did mean it, he wouldn't be showing up with her at an appearance pushing her to do an appearance for $7,500. $7,500? I didn't get $7,500 for that, did I? I don't think so. So yes. anyway, what I saw You know what I'm as, saying. Okay, I'm sorry. He wouldn't, you know, she wouldn't be working as hard doing all those appearances. What I saw it as, I'm, I'm going to do something for you you haven't had. Here I am. I'm like, I'm giving you an option and I'm giving you a choice. Something that you didn't have before I came around. I don't believe it. And I grabbed her coat and I said, get the hell out of here. He just offered you the world. Why are you still sitting here? Like, go, That's, just go. If that, was, if that was really true, and I do really believe this, if he really meant that, she wouldn't be upset all the time. And this, and this would not be the story. He wouldn't be 
so angry, upset, and they wouldn't be protecting us, and they'd be jetting off and flying away, and this wouldn't be this, the case. She would be flying off into the sunset. I, I do believe that. I think he loves this more than she does. I do. We see Louis get upset the last night in Nashville. Mm -hmm. Let's go. I want to get out of here. I want to like get a jet and go home. It's just too much. It's All right, I know. Too much. Right. We're gonna, just, I know. He's much. like that. Yeah. Like, like seriously, I'm done. Like, let's okay. get it. Like, I don't need this. I work harder. You never have to work a day in your life. I know. How lucky is that? Let's go move into our 15,000 square foot house, right? I like that. I love you. Do you think the rumors about him bother him more than he lets on? Yeah, I mean, this is something that he did not, like, sign up for. Like, he starts dating me, Teresa Judith, that's on TV, and then things come out of the woodwork. And it's so sad that, unfortunately, that this had to happen. And I'm sad that this had to happen because, you know, here we are so happy in our, in our love bubble, and then here's people trying to pop our love bubble which is, is very sad. I think it bothers him more than he lets on. I think he's great with people, and I think that he, you know, he doesn't want to make a big deal about it, but I'm sure it stresses him out a lot. Every time I've been with Louis, he's been nothing but nice, so I feel bad sometimes, I really do. I mean, even if there is some truth to some of it, it still must be really uncomfortable, and, like, I empathize with that. I believe it, it bothers Louis. I'm sure it does. Um, who wants... Your, your name be put out on social media and all this nonsense be put out. But he's 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 taking the right approach. He's basically letting it roll off his shoulder, trying not to get involved. Because if he did, he would just look that much worse. If you go on this show, anything in your background can come out by at any time by anyone. So if you're afraid of your background, it just isn't good for you. Like I said, Tim, stick with me and... Like, that's why this was my thing. Yeah, he came into like my world, this whole, you know, like um, unfortunately dating someone that's in the public eye and he didn't want any of this. I mean, it's not like he was looking for this. He didn't, he, he didn't say, oh, I'm gonna, I wanna fall in love with Teresa Judas. It just happened. So, um, and I was just doing everything I can to protect him because um, it's not fair. So I hear things got a little competitive at lunch. Go! Oh, Lou, don't do it, Lou. He's dying. Joe's dying. Uh, it was the worst thing I ever did in my life. I mean, whose stupid idea was that? I mean, really. Is it like crazy spicy? Bring us a bunch of that. I want to have a contest with these guys, see who eats the most. Hell yeah, bro. You win, bitch. No, you know I'm not losing, bitches. That affected me for about a week. It's another Joe Gorga competitive, let's let's just do something crazy moment, right? And then I got gassed up by Jen, to be honest. I challenge anyone in this group to eat anything spicier he than can't. Bill. He's a masochist. He loves uh -huh. it. Of course, once your wife gasses you up, you go through it, and then, I mean, we were hurting. It took three, four days for that, let's call it a poison of spice to get out of you. I know what my baby can handle. And the thing is, I think it was my big mouth that got him into that mess in the first place. I'll take that hot chicken sandwich. The spiciest it could be. But the contest should have been who can eat the spiciest food. Not, not who can eat the most amount of spicy food. But ultimately, everybody was crying. Did, did you see Louie? Louie's out! Louis out. Yeah. How about Frank? For 2021, that chicken contest and me going into it was probably one of my biggest regrets, all right? Because not only did it hurt and kill you then, it hurt later in the day. The next day, I paid for it for two days. And I mean, I seriously paid for it. Uh, and, and, you know, oh, it was horrible. It was it was really horrible. But I won. Yeah. Officially, I, I won. I, Joe says he won. But I, <laughs> I got to be honest with you. I think Bill won. I think Bill won. I you took know, it Bill? easy on Joe. I won. Oh. The only satisfaction which I did have in that whole thing is when we went back to the house and Joe Gorg is thrown up in the bathroom. That's what I'm trying to throw up. My finger's not long enough. So you want me to get something? <laughs> all right. You <sighs> His stomach all night was killing him. I was like, 
what's the point? Like, good, so you win the hot chicken eating contest. Like, woo, like, it's not worth it. These guys are crazy. That night, we went somewhere and they didn't show this on camera, but Bill Aiden was in the bathroom for about a half an hour. We couldn't yeah, find him. Yeah, he was. He was. We were all trying to, him. we thought he might have like passed out in the bathroom. He was gone. My poor baby, he was really suffering for hours and hours on end after that. You know when it hurt the worst? Burnt the worst when you went to the bathroom and you peed it out. Oh! <laughs> That's such a stupid idea. Whose stupid, stupid idea was it? I mean, really. Margaret and Teresa get into an argument, and when Margaret returns to the group, she says something about Louis. Margaret's got balls. I've been right about Siggy. I've been right about Danielle. I'll be right about Louis. As of now, they look like a very happy couple. They look very in love. He seems to really take care of her, go out of his way for her and the girls when, you know, I see them together. So from what I see, it looks like they're in a very happy place, and that's all I know is what I see. I hope Margaret's wrong. I don't think anybody wants, you know, Louis to be a bad guy. I think everyone wants Teresa to be happy. Listen, I want to be wrong. I want the best for her. I want her to be riding off into the sunset. I want everything great for her. And I want this to be her fairy tale. No one wants anything bad for her. And I want to be wrong. And I want to be right. Yeah, she wants divorce and so I have not seen show everything is pointing to something that's just not good at this point i think louis has to address the video supposedly smacked around his girlfriend in front of her kids what about allegations of abuse that's all listen stranger things have happened sure So, Louie pulls you aside your last night in Nashville. I don't want this to sound controlling, but I, I need your sister. So, I'm going to take her to Europe next month, and I'm going to propose to her. Really? Hearing Louie wanting to propose to my sister and wants to be with her really felt great. It really does. I just want her to be happy, and he, I can see that he really, really cares about her, and she cares about him. So, you know, I was happy, and he gave me the respect to come up to me and talk to me, because... Our father's not around anymore. I want to respect you like you're her dad, and I want to ask you for your blessing. And I respect that, man. And that's a true man. And and the the only thing I can do is give him back respect. I mean, I'm a grown woman, <laughs> so I mean, of course, I want my brother to to accept him. He does. I know he's absolutely amazing you know i i do it's always what everyone wanted for her we want to see her happy we want to see her find her peace it's great that she has louis i i hope he's always there to back her up and have her back i mean that's what she's been waiting for and i'm happy for her we wish them nothing but happiness it's not easy to do this uh, in front of the public eye so to speak and all the stuff that is being brought up about louis I was curious about the video he supposedly smacked around his girlfriend in front of her kids. What about allegations of uh, abuse? You know, it's not like it's in a book or a movie. You have to live it and experience it. And, you know, when you feel some of your friends or, or let's call them acquaintances, maybe not fully friends, are not always supportive and they're trying to sabotage it. Every time something big happened with us, something would come out. Boy, that, that makes it difficult. You know, some of those rumors might be true, some of them might, might not be true, but who cares? You know, I've been, I've done things in my past that I will never do today. And we, we're all human, we go through it. And it is what it is, it's who we are today. Listen, they look happy. They, 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 they look very, very happy together, all right? And that's, that's, not, that's not only on social media and pictures. And when you see them together, all right? When you see them together, they seem very, very happy. Uh, the, the, the families all seem happy. Uh, they're living together now. And I think it's just, I think it's logical to take the next step, all right? Uh, they're not children, all right? Uh, we, believe me, we're getting up there in age, so it's, I, I think it's logical uh, that's to get, get engaged. We're supposed to get engaged in Italy and go to Italy and Saint Tropez, but then they closed it down because of COVID. And then um, he switched it to Greece. And it was so magical. It was absolutely like the most magical day. It really was. It looked magical. It, it looked beautiful. It, it really, like, I didn't know where to look first. Fireworks, sparklers going off. Like I didn't know where to look first. Like it was, 
it was so beautiful. It really was. It was like a it was like a fairy tale. You and Teresa try to sit down and talk to each other, but things don't really go well. All I ever did was be good to you. I stood up for you non stop. Well, I mean, I, I would say ditto. Same ditto. Vice versa. Vice versa? Uh-oh. You have broken my heart, and I am done. Thank you. Have a good night. Do you see a possible future in which the two of you are friends again? I think... Um, you know, time will tell. She doesn't think we could come back from this. I think we're both very different people. I mean, I want her thinking, you know, if she could really ever wrap her head around that I do want her to be happy. You know, I want everything good for her. I do. I do want her to succeed. I only want her success. I mean, I could think of just so many things. Dolores, even the, like the first season, I wanted to help her with licensing. I did something wonderful for Melissa with licensing. It's like I have done things and, and proven myself as a person that I've wanted good things for her and that she doesn't see that. I think she has to really just wrap her head around and what would she tell her other friends if they were in these shoes? Right, yeah. You know what I mean? I think she has to really think of it that way. Listen, if she thinks that somebody's not good for one of her friends, she says it. Not that that's what Margaret's doing. She but, says yeah. it all the time. I mean, I, I watched her say, I've seen her in, in her not in front of camera life say to other friends, oh, he's a jerk, he's a this, he's that, da, 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 for a lot less evidence. I think she thinks she has a lot more to forgive me for. I think I have a lot more to forgive her for. Call me Trout now. You rid me to f***ing Trout. Then you're mad at me I'm not going to wear your workout stuff. You say my ass is wiggling. Then last night you I, called me I, fat. You called me white trash, a f***ing whore. I, a you spill an entire table on me. You've treated me like f***ing dirt. Yeah, I was mad. So I think we're both at that place. And and I'm not, listen, and I could and I could come back from it, truthfully. I think for us to ever be as close as we were, because I did think we had a bond, and I thought I understood her, but maybe I don't understand her the way I thought I did. Your last night in Nashville, Jennifer says that Teresa was nice that day because she said hello to you. It definitely doesn't sound well when it's repeated. She was way, nice to you today, don't you think, when she said hello? Jennifer. It was nice to Jennifer. see that. She's not a child. It's like, well, she was good today. I don't want to celebrate her being a good human being. Why? Don't they have, like, you know, when you give children and you reward them? No! She should be a nice person every day. So what does that mean? I should feel blessed because she was nice to me today. So I don't have to like defend myself and dodge, you know, so that's just, I, I don't, I just don't operate that way. You know, you could disagree with someone you care about. You can not be on board with everything they do. That doesn't mean you don't love them or have respect for them. I don't have to agree with everything Louis done in his past. I don't have to discredit everything that's come out about him. That doesn't mean I hate his guts, but that doesn't mean that I can't be concerned about you. I'm sorry, he hasn't done a good job of uh, discrediting everything that's happened. Everybody was curious about the video. I was in a relationship with a woman, so I had to learn that moment, basically, how to be vulnerable to that woman and tell a woman, listen, I'm sorry for not, like, because I didn't want to commit to a marriage. Physical violence? Yeah. There's no physical violence. Hey, let me let you know a little secret. The girl you're referring to? Yeah. <laughs> I heard a rumor she stabbed her husband with a bush knife. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, 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 wait. She was what? And I mean, maybe he, he was nervous. Maybe he didn't say the right thing, but he was aggressive towards me. You on your best day would intimidate me. I mean, what do you want me to say? It's like, so I am concerned, you know, so of course I was concerned about her, but that doesn't mean I don't care about her. You can't blindly be with someone and just, just say everything they want to hear. That's, that's not a good friend. That, that's just not, I'm not going to just go and, and celebrate every moment and be like, everything's great when it's, when it's not.